Well, the fate of a commonly used abortion drug is in the hands of the U.S. Supreme Court now. The Texas group suing the FDA over the drug is praising the justices for taking up the case. The scope of their authority is at the center of this dispute. This is part of an ongoing battle over abortion rights. And tonight, we want to know, should Texas change the legal exceptions in the state's abortion law? You can vote right now by going to click2vote.com. KPRC 2 is Rowan Belogan with a constitutional professor believing the Supreme Court justices may rule. The U.S. Supreme Court will take a look at the abortion pill matter next year, but one law professor is looking into whether any Texans will file a civil lawsuit against the woman who left the state to get an abortion. The U.S. Supreme Court will decide whether to limit the use of a popular abortion pill. The lawsuit brought by a Texas group against the FDA's authority. But if this case were to go forward, it would make it even harder for women to obtain these pills in Texas and otherwise. My name is Josh Blackman. I'm a constitutional law professor at the South Texas College of Law, Houston. So you think they, the Supreme Court would likely agree with the Texas ruling? Oh, no, no. I think the, the Supreme Court will allow the drug to stay in the market. For now, the drug is available as the legal battle plays out. The new case could be decided by next summer. Here in Texas, Blackman said he's watching to see if anyone files an abortion related lawsuits under the state law. This law was designed in a very specific way that it doesn't allow courts to sort of uh, interpret it in advance. So I think I think that is definitely a case. There's no way of knowing how it works until it's actually enforced. So anyone even if they are not in the county she was in, anyone don't know her individually don't to know her. Right. It, it, it's, it's sort of an open question whether someone who has no connection with her can bring this lawsuit, whether they're injured by it. Uh, that's an open question, but in theory, anyone can file this lawsuit. Blackman says because the law is rarely used, it's unclear exactly how it works. Reporting from the Texas Medical Center, Roman Belogan, KPRC 2 News.